pescoço When it comes to 1v1s and 5v5s, they both have their similarities and their differences. In this video, I'll be covering the skills you need and the differences for both games. We'll go ahead and start with 1v1s. Mentally, you have the freedom to take any shot you choose due to you being the only player on your team. So that means no getting yelled at or nothing. Meanwhile, for 5v5, you're not necessarily stuck in the mud on what you do, but you must be smart and efficient for whatever you are doing. Of course, feel free to take risks, but doing something too crazy will have your whole team giving you that what the heck face. As far as skill, you must be able to score with your handle, use your body, and think with your brain. Yes, your brain. When it comes to ones, for example, your first score could be a pull-up jumper near the free throw line. Now your defender is like, okay, he made a pull-up. Then the next play, you pull up to the same spot, but hezzy. Right before the hezzy, your defender is probably like, no, I can't let him make it again. So now he jumps due to your hezzy, and you score and make the easy lay. Now, the next play, instead of moving forward for the pull-up, you could give him a quick jab, then shoot the three. You see what you're doing? You're messing with your defender and you're making him think like, oh man, what is he going to do? Once you have him thinking about what could happen next, the ball is in your court. Now defensively, you must be able to hold your own. There will be no help defense. It'll be just you and the other player, which will bring me to my next point. You may think skill is greater than athleticism, which it is to a point, but when it comes to 1v1s, it's a different ball game. Let's take Steph Curry and Shaq for an example. We all know Curry is the most skilled, and due to the game being a 1v1, Curry can use up the whole floor, but when it comes to ones, we can't just say Curry will win due to how dominant Shaq is. All it takes is one miss from Curry, and all Shaq has to do is back him down, and it's a straight GG. Shaq wins the 1v1. Now a major skill for playing ones is having an effective jab step. Being able to shift your defender without even dribbling is a huge, huge thing. Many players tend to dribble the ball as soon as they catch the ball, which isn't smart. Having good footwork as well is vital too. Say you drive in the paint but you get clamped. You can't just pass the ball off my guy cause you're the only one. You gotta cook up your feet and see if you can get balanced through a fadeaway or see if you can readjust for a layup. Now on to 5v5. Starting off, we'll start with the mental side of things. Like I stated earlier, you can shoot and take risks, but this is not the time to start taking and one type shots, bouncing it off their head and all that nonsense and be flashy. Because this is not a 1v1 where you can do anything you want. You have 4 other players out there that are hungry and waiting to score. Another huge thing is players holding themselves back. This is a common thing for many players because they are afraid to fail. They don't want the backlash of them missing or losing the ball after they try to perform a crossover. So they hold themselves back and they remain passive during the game. Players. I understand that messing up sucks, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And remember at the end of the day, it's a game. When it comes to what skills you should have during your 5v5, I recommend having everything. I'm talking shooting, dribbling, defense, rebounding, passing, and having a high IQ on when to pass the ball off and what type of pass should be thrown. Along with that, stamina. In order for you to become a really effective player, you must have the energy and drive to perform on both ends of the floor. Yeah, you might be getting buckets on one end, but on the other, you're just getting blown by every possession, which evens out and you're not really making an impact. Now, if you have the ability to do both, then no team will ever count you out. 
My last point I'll make when it comes to fives is to know your role on the team. And it's very, very, very important to know. If your job on a team is to lock down their best player, then do that. If your job is to be the team's three-point specialist, then do that. And don't be out here trying to be John Wall and drive every single possession. Yeah, you have driving down in your bag, but that's not why you are there. Your job is to shoot, so just focus on that. Everyone knows their role, that means everyone will play together, and when everyone plays together, that's when you give your team the best chance to win the game.